students. Let us learn how to solve the word problems with the help of algebraic methods. Here goes the first question of exercise 3.6 word problem. So, our question says Ritu can row downstream 20 kilometers in 2 hours and upstream 4 kilometers in 2 hours. Find her speed of rowing in still water and speed of the current. Very interesting and very easy question. Now, let us assume, let the speed in still water be x kilometers per hour and let the speed of current be y kilometers per hour. So, speed during downstream will obviously be x plus y kilometers per hour and speed during upstream will be x minus y kilometers per hour. Now, let us write down the equation. We also know that speed is equal to distance upon time. So, if I take distance upon speed that will give me time. First equation, first expression here is it is 20 kilometers. How much is the distance? According to question 20 kilometers by downstream speed is x plus y is equal to time taken is how much? 2 hours. So, we can cross multiply, we get 2 into x plus y, 2 we can take common. So, first equation reduces to x plus y is equal to 10. Let us see the next uh, condition. She can row upstream 4 kilometers. So, 4 upon x minus y again in 2 hours. So, if I cross multiply, I get 2 into x minus y that gives me 2 x minus 2 y is equal to 4. If I take 2 common, x minus y is equal to 2. These are very simple equations. Let us solve them. We have x plus y is equal to 10 we have x minus y is equal to 2. Shall we add them? We get 2 x is equal to 12 or x is equal to 6 kilometers per hour. Likewise, for y x plus y is 10. So, 6 plus y is y is equal to 4. So, x is 6 kilometers per hour that is speed in still water and y is 4 kilometers per hour that is speed of current. So, we have obtained the uh, speed in still water and speed of the current. I hope it is clear. Shall we go to the next question? This question says two women and five men can together finish an embroidery work in four days while three women and six men can finish it in three days. Find the time taken by one woman alone to finish the work and also the time taken by one man alone. In this case, let us take the number of days taken by women to be x and number of days taken by man alone to be y. So, one day's work of one woman will be how much? 1 upon x and this is for women and for men it will be 1 upon y. Now, according to question how many days they are taking? 4 days. When 
two women and five men are involved for four days, they are able to complete the piece of work that is embroidery work. So, we have here 4 into 2 upon x plus 5 upon y is equal to 1 or I can take 2 upon x plus 5 upon y is equal to 1 upon 4. What about the next condition? Next is while 3 women and 6 men, 3 women and 6 men when they work for how many days? 3 days they can finish the work embroidery work. So, we have here 3 upon x plus 6 upon y is equal to 1 upon 3. These are the two equations we have got. Now, to solve them, first let us reduce them to linear equations. How we can do that? We will take 1 upon x as a and 1 upon y as b. So, our equations will change to 2a plus 5b is equal to 1 upon 4 and 3a plus 6b is equal to 1 upon 3. Is it clear? So, here we can use any method. Let me use here uh, if I multiply this equation by 2 and this by this by 3 and this by 2. Why? 2 3s are 6 and here also I will get 6. So, I get here 6 a plus 15 b is equal to 3 upon 4 and 6 a plus 12 b is equal to 2 upon 3. Same sign we subtract. What is 15 b minus 12 b? It is 3 b is equal to what is 3 upon 4 minus 2 upon 3. That gives me LCM as 12, 9 minus 8. So, I get 1 upon 12. Look here, b is equal to 1 upon 36. That means, I had taken for men as how many y. So, it is 1 upon y is equal to 1 upon b. So, men alone can finish the work in 36 days. Let us find out for women. It is, I can take any equation here. Uh, let me take uh, 2a plus 5b is equal to 1 upon 4. What is the value of b? 1 upon 36. So, 2a plus 5 into 1 upon 36 is equal to 1 upon 4 or 2a is equal to 1 upon 4 minus 5 upon 36 that gives me, let me rub this, I get 2 a is equal to 36 is the LCM. So, it is 9 minus 5 or a is equal to 4 upon 2 into 36 that gives me a is equal to 1 upon 18. You remember we had taken 1 upon x as a. So, 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon 18 that is women alone can finish the work in 18 days and men alone can finish the work in 36 days. So, women can finish the work in 18 days when they are working on their own and man alone can take and finish the work in 36 days. I hope it is clear. Now, let us do the next part. Here, 
Ruhi travels 300 kilometers to her home, partly by train and partly by bus. She takes 4 hours if she travels 60 kilometers by train and the remaining by bus. If she travels 100 kilometers by train and the remaining by bus, she takes 10 minutes longer. Find the speed of the train and the bus separately. Now, let us take the speed of bus and train as x and y respectively. Let the speed of train be x kilometers per hour and speed of bus be y kilometers per hour. Now, what is the total distance she is covering? 300. Very interesting question it is because partly she is travelling by train and partly by bus. Now, if she is travelling uh, 60 kilometers by train, let us take distance upon speed. That gives me time. This is the distance covered by uh, train. So, plus what is the distance left out now? Out of 300, if she has covered 60 by train, how much is the distance left? Yes, you are right, it is 240. And how much time she is taking? She is taking 4 hours. So, this becomes a first equation. Is it clear? Now, second one is if she travels 100 kilometers by train and the remaining by bus. Let me take here 100, she is traveling by train and remaining by bus. How much is remaining? Out of 300, 100 she has covered by train. So, it is 200 upon y is equal to, here be very careful, it is 10 minutes longer. Students get confused and they take only 10 here. It is to be converted into hours. Longer means she is already taking 4 hours, but 10 minutes longer means she is taking 10 minutes more than 4 hours. So, 4 10 upon 6 becomes what? I can cancel this 0. 6 4 is 24. 24 plus 1 upon 6 gives me 25 upon 6. These are the two simple equations we need to solve. Now, let me take this as 1 upon x as a and 1 upon y as b. Look how the equations will change. I will have 60 a plus 240 b is equal to 4. Likewise, second equation, I will have 100 a plus 200 b is equal to, it is 25 by 6. All right. Now, if I reduce it to lower terms, look, if I multiply this by 6, I get 600 a plus 1200 b is equal to 25. In order to get equal coefficients, shall I multiply this equation by 10? What do I get? 600 a plus 2400 b is equal to 4 tens are 40. Simple, shall we subtract? So, 600 a minus 600 a gets cancelled minus 1200 b is equal to minus 15. So, b is 15 upon 1200, 5 threes are 5 twos are 10. So, again we can cancel. So, very good b is equal to 1 upon 80. We have taken this as b as what? 1 upon y. So, this is the speed of the bus. Speed of the bus is 80 kilometers per hour. Let us find out the speed of train now. Let me take any equation here. Here, 60 a 
we can take here 60 a plus 240 b is equal to 4. So, what is the value of b? It is 60 a plus 240 into 1 upon 80 is equal to 4. Yes. So, 60 a is equal to what is 4 minus 3? 1. So, a is equal to 1 upon 60. So, what was a? We had taken it as 1 upon x. So, speed of train is how much? 60. Speed of train is 60 kilometers per hour and speed of bus is 80 kilometers per hour. I hope it is clear. So, students, we have learned how to solve the word problems using algebraic methods. Now, here it is time to take assignment. Question number 1, if 47x plus 31y is equal to 18 and 31x plus 47y is equal to 60, then find the value of x plus y. Question is very interesting, try to solve it. The hint I can give you here is, these two equations can be added once and subtracted next time, so that they will give you simplified linear equations. Question number 2, solve the following system of linear equations, 8 v minus 3 u is equal to 5 u v and 6 v minus 5 u is equal to minus 2 u v. Third question, solve for x and y, 1 15 upon x plus y minus 2 upon x minus y is equal to 1 and 15 upon x plus y plus 7 upon x minus y is equal to 10, where x plus y is not equal to 0 and x minus y is also not equal to 0. Fourth question, solve the following system of equations, 2 x plus 5 y upon x y is equal to 6 and 4 x minus 5 y upon x y plus 3 is equal to 0. Question number 5. A boat goes 30 kilometers upstream and 44 kilometers downstream in 10 hours. In 13 hours, it can go 40 kilometers upstream and 55 kilometers downstream. Determine the speed of the stream and that of the boat in still water. Please try to solve these questions. Wish you good luck. Thank you.